Hello Internet, this is Whispering Wim, bringing you a Bobcat in a box um, unboxing video, or rather unbagging video as it seems. <laughs> that does seem to be the shipping norm these days, right? And I've got nine packages to open up for you today. I thought I'd have more, honestly, it felt like they were piling up. Um, but it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video, so there may be some hiding somewhere <laughs> in the apartment. But I think nine is enough to get us a good video today. And for those who are not familiar, Bobcat in a Box is a shopping robot. Um, it's an automated script where you put in some keywords and then you give it some money and it goes buys things on your behalf. Um, it tends to be very random and a lot of cheap things because um, you don't tend to give it a ton of money and it, I don't know. Uh, anyways, <laughs> our first item is a lovely little brooch. Um, one of my keywords was um, pearl, so that makes sense. I'm not particularly a brooch person, but it is actually pretty, you know, it's, it's a lot more, it doesn't look as cheap as I would expect from a bobcat item. <laughs> um, and let's see here, the manufacturer valued it at $1, <laughs> so it couldn't have been too expensive, although I find that, uh, they tend to, um, what's the word, undervalue the items on the shipping package. I think it's probably something to do with the customs and taxes and uh, all of that funness. Next up, this one did not come from China, so I'm trying to figure out where it came from. Yagon Ma Mayama? <laughs> uh, I have no idea if that's a country or not. I guess it must be. Um, and this says it's an OTG adapter. I don't know what an OTG adapter is, but I guess we'll find out here. And it looks like... It's some sort of electronic, um, something for computers maybe. I did have robot as one of my keywords and I think sometimes the Bobcat wants to send me robot, oh, <laughs> so it is shaped like a robot, whatever this is. Um, it looks like it is a USB to um, uh, one of the lightning cables. I'm not sure exactly which adapter that is. So that might come in handy. It's so tiny, I think I would lose it though. <laughs> we'll see, huh? Next up, we have this black package here. Uh, and it's valued at $2.29. So they really thought this one was worth something. Um, and the description is cake tools. So let's see what kind of cake tools I got. Oh, well that's a shame. Um, I actually have one of these Lego molds already. Um, and I thought I put, so you, you have your positive keywords, right? You're like, send me cake molds. And then you have negative keywords. Um, in this example, uh, Lego. <laughs> so I thought I had um, set it up so it wouldn't send me any more Lego stuff because it loves to send me Legos. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, so I'll have to go look at the program and see why it's doing that. Because uh, I definitely didn't need the first one. <laughs> and I don't know what I would do with two. But um, we'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Next up, this is from the Philippines, 
it's valued at 20 cents. <laughs> and the description says integrated circuits. And that seems like, um, yeah, I have no idea what that's for. I assume it's a random bit that goes into an electronic device. Um, I'm going to have to take robot off of my keywords because I was thinking like cute stickers or postcards or something with like, you know, science fiction robots on them or maybe even like a mechanical device like a toy, um, but not random little bits like that. It just seems like such a waste to ship a little piece of plastic like that all the way across the ocean. But what do I know? Next up is some nail decoration tools valued at $1.02. <laughs> and this was shipped from the Philippines. And this may be, yep, yeah, this is actually an item that I ordered outside of Bobcat in a Box. I ordered it from AliExpress. Um, and it's little tiny bobbles. Uh, like this one has like crystal roses and pearls and this one has like gold roses and like opals in it and they're designed to do some really fancy nail decorations uh, but they're really good for arts and crafts um, I'm debating whether or not to keep them for myself actually um, versus giving them to my friend who does a bunch of resin artwork because we could both uh, have a use for these. So, not a Bobcat item, but easily could be. Um, I think I did pay like a dollar a piece for these. Um, so, within the range of what the uh, shopping robot would buy me. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. We have a USB cable. Um, and this is also shipped from the Philippines, so not as China heavy today. And this is more proof that I need to take robot off of my keywords because I really don't need a bunch of random uh, cables and computer parts. Uh, I'm not quite tech savvy myself. Although my wonderful guy is, so maybe he would know what some of these things are. Um, if he doesn't have a use for them, I'll have to toss them because I try not to have junk lying around, but I feel bad for throwing away something that's um, useful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so these are not USB cables. They're magnets, and I bought these magnets ages and ages ago. I didn't think, I thought they had gotten lost um, in shipping. And so it's really funny for these to turn up now. Um, if I, if they had marked them correctly on the packaging, I would have opened them up a while ago. Because um, these are super, super powerful um, magnets and I use them um, in some of my artwork because I actually make little shoulder pets that you know there's a magnet on the creature and then you put another magnet um, underneath your clothing and it hangs out on your shoulder um, and they can get expensive the really strong ones um, and it's hard to find good ones so I took a, a chance and bought from a seller that I wasn't familiar with. And I mean, the quality of these things are actually really good. Um, but I wish they had marked <laughs> the shipping labels because I needed these like a month ago. I can still use them, but they would have been more helpful a month ago. <laughs> so moving right along, uh, this is from China. And the description is socks, so it better not be more magnets. <laughs> it doesn't feel like magnets. 
um, and the value is one dollar US. Oh, these are actually pretty darling. This is right up my alley um, as far as the pattern and everything goes. Although I wish um, more of the socks that came in weren't this crew cut. Um, I prefer when it goes up my ankle, honestly. You know, not super long, but mid-length, I guess. But still, I like pink and I like socks, so those will definitely have a use, right? <laughs> and with that, we're already on our last item. Um, I thought this video would last a little longer, but you know, sometimes there's only so much you can say about little tiny things. Um, but anyways, this was sent all the way from the Fiji Islands. Uh, you wouldn't think that they'd be big on exporting. Um, and the description is in alignment mold. We'll see what that is. And it's valued at $1. Oh. <laughs> uh, so this looks like a little tiny cookie cutter with a, a fish on it. And to make things even more interesting, this got shipped from Fiji. And normally islands don't do a lot of manufacturing for export. You know, small land mass means that they don't have a lot of resources to send out. You know, if they export things, it's usually like fruit or fish or, you know, fish. Um, but in a rather comical twist, my cookie cutter here has a made in China sticker. So some entrepreneur in the middle of the ocean bought a whole bunch of stuff wholesale from a Chinese manufacturer and is now reselling it. <laughs> <laughs> on the same site that the Chinese manufacturers sell on. Uh, and that's just hilarious to me. And with that, we are at the end of the video already. Um, I've had lots and lots of wonderful comments um, this past week. So I can't shout out to all of you, but just a couple of names. Um, Earn, Emily Lutz, ASMR Fiend, um, and just name, to name a few. <laughs> Thank you everybody for commenting and watching. And um, I hope it's been nice and relaxing. So I'll see you next time. Nighty night. <laughs>